biggest goal is ultimately to create a state of explosion. What you're going to see throughout this presentation is that the goal is to address the hip extension firing pattern, and that should be starting with the glutes, then to the hamstring, same side, and then to the opposite side, QL. What we'll start to see with our athletes is, is through structural or, or other issues, our athletes will not be capable of completing this and thus no longer uh, completing or com yeah, completing state of explosion type of movements where we're starting to drive in if we're driving from our back or our hamstrings and then that's going to lead to an increased uh, injury likelihood. So what this model, the ultimate goal is to create this state of explosion uh, through uh, a few different layers that we'll cover throughout this presentation. So again, this is going to maximize movement efficiency with your athletes. When they're in that state of explosion, they're utilizing their glutes as their primary hip extensors, as they should be, uh, and, and that reduced injury likelihood. So by utilizing this, the soft tissue and catastrophic injuries seen, so potential non-contact ACLs or hamstring overutilization, which is what we see in those athletes that no longer utilize that state of explosion, we're going to see those decrease pretty dramatically because we're taking the tension away from those hamstrings and utilizing them in the manner they're actually designed to be used. Um, we're going to try and transfer this um, state of explosion and optimal firing pattern into our actual competitive events. So as we progress through this, you're going to see the um, application starting from the, the basic ground level structural function pieces that we use all the way into how we program this into training to ensure that athletes are utilizing these patterns. But ultimately, it's going to come down to coaching and cueing your athletes to get them to understand their bodies and this efficient manner of moving.